My name is Michael Bergen. Um, I live and farm south of Aurora, Nebraska, um, south central Nebraska. Uh, I raise irrigated corn, dryland corn, and irrigated soybeans, and also have a little bit of alfalfa. Robbie Peterson, I farm just southeast of uh, York, Nebraska, and uh, row crop, strip till, corn, soybeans, do some seed corn. Yeah, we're very similar. I'm Darren. I farm around York. Mostly irrigated corn and soybeans, a little bit of alfalfa, like you mentioned, but conventional till. And yeah, it's kind of a rough year with all the hail, but we got through it. Thanks for uh, spending a little time with us here this afternoon. Just an opportunity to get a really understand a little bit about your guys' operation and as well as how channel fits into that as well as climate field view. I've been using Climate Field View really since it was introduced, and I use it on up to six different applications throughout the year. I, I love the data tracking of it. I run it at planting, um, spraying applications, fertilizing applications, harvest, and then scouting as well. Yeah, I take my iPad everywhere I go, and so I just love that I have all my data with me all the time. And I can look up anything, sitting somewhere on board, I start going through stuff. So I just like that it's all together, it's all with me. A lot of times I like to just do random. I just do totally random, just create maps freehand and just see just what this, what's one spot you can just kind of select and you just kind of just analyze, look at, and you can be able to compare soil types, you know, what that has, how it did. I kind of mentioned earlier about running the two machines and finding a skip. And so I pull this up here, you can kind of see in this area right here, this strip here where it's showing different, different rates, right there one of, the, one of the bars was beginning to vapor. And so you know immediately, hey, we got an issue here and you go back and you reapply versus finding it out in the spring when you have yellow corn. And so I like that. You know, these pins represent um, different times that, that uh, my channel seedsman had been out in the field and you know, you can click on, on any of these and um, see, you know, what it is. Um, you know, there's pictures here that you can pull up of, as of the year. Be able to go back and, you know, these, these stay in there. So, um, you know, this picture's from right before harvest time and I uh, really, really like going through. And, and then, um, you know, you can jump from this year, um, on this year to, to the yield and um, pull up a harvest summary that you can instantly evaluate um, the, the hybrids in the plot. So um, it's really, really neat technology that's at your fingertips um, instantly. So those are things that I really enjoy about. You know, I think um, talking to people, you know, if data and capturing data is important to them, then they need to take a look at this. Yeah, it just takes the guesswork out. You know, like we have a pay discount right now for seed. So you got to know some of these decisions ahead of time on what hybrids you're going to plant, what hybrids you're not. And so to have all that right immediately after harvest is really nice. Yeah, I, I always enjoy a day when I'm visiting with somebody and they'll ask, I, I sure wish Fieldview could do this. And then, then I can turn around and show them it does do this. <laughs> yeah. Which gets back to what you guys are saying. There's there's a lot of features there. Yeah. And the more you use it, you know, the more things you just discover by accident sometimes. You know, I talk to my seedsman and you know, a lot of times he'll take care of it and and, and help me navigate through it and mm -hmm. so I don't I know uh, I know the person I'm talking to. I started with Fieldview really at the beginning and, and um I've had some other companies make a run at me to try to change the technology that I'm using, but I, I don't want to go away from a good thing, and um, so it's been a good thing for me, and I plan on staying there. <laughs>